Hello everybody, I'm happy to be with you, with you this, uh, in fact, second week. And it was mentioned that I would like to uh, speak about our experience and maybe I can recall a bit uh, the discussions yesterday about evolution capacity development. And as Verena mentioned, uh, my key message is uh, that even the small voluntary organizations can uh, and must be influential. And maybe it is much more important to know what we want to reach, what we want to change, what we want to improve before asking for the money. It was mentioned that uh, at the end the money is important, but it's much better to know what to do before asking money than uh, uh, waiting for the grant and then uh, to decide what we'll be, do we'll be doing with that grant. Okay. Uh, the Czech Evolution Society was established in uh, 2007 by four evaluators, among others myself and Dima among them. So uh, it was established or the establishment started in a special witch pub in uh, the old town of Prague by these four people and several rounds of beers, in fact several rounds of meetings uh, in that, in that uh, nice witch pub which doesn't exist anymore, by the way. And uh, today we already have 48 members, uh, including one institu institutional member, which is the Ministry for uh, Regional Development, which is uh, responsible for uh, the European funds uh, projects in the Czech Republic and so on. And plus one honorary member, which is once again Dima, because he was one of the first executive director of that association. I would like to briefly mention a few achievements we, uh, we reached uh, since 2007. So our uh, first book is about something like methodology. So uh, we agreed a code of ethics in 2011 and uh, formal standards for conducting evaluations in 2013. And what I consider important is that the reference to these two guides is including in the governmental regulation on uh, national programs and it is also mentioned in all terms of reference of the governmental evaluations in the Czech Republic, which is great. Uh, in the last year, our members or we jointly uh, prepared a methodology for evaluating cross-cutting principles and topics like gender, human rights, good governance, environmental and so on issues and uh, this year we would like to finalize a methodology for procuring evaluations which should be used by uh, Czech authorities, by the ministries and so on. So I think it's a quite uh, a good success that uh, voluntary organizations can even uh, contribute to establishing the system. Uh, regarding system and structures we have a special uh, Advisory Council for Development Cooperation um, under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but it includes all other ministries and uh, some other actors. And uh, there is a special working group on evaluations where uh, we have uh, a seat as a Czech Evaluation Society, and uh, there is also a Czech NGO, a non governmental organization platform for us, which has uh, another seat in this uh, governmental council uh, body. And this uh, group uh, role is to approve the evaluation plans for the next two years and we can also contribute to uh, drafting these plans. So for example, for the next year uh, new evaluations will be added, one on uh, business to business uh, program of the Czech government and another one on so-called triangular cooperation with other donors in developing countries which is running for many years, but there was no evaluation so far on that kind of projects. We also uh, discuss in this working group the responses to the recommendations of evaluations of the current year, and there is a recommendation tracking system for two last previous years where the group somehow control or monitor whether the recommendations were implemented or not, and, and uh, to what extent, and why not, and so on. And uh, the role is also to improve, improve or approve uh, the guidelines and the plates used for the evaluations. 
There is another body which was already mentioned. It's a reference group on evaluations, and uh, I'm a member of the group for, I think, six years. Uh, three years it was uh, for free. I'm, uh, I have a partial uh, reimbursement in the past three years. And uh, for uh, the last two or three years, uh, there is a one big improvement that uh, we are not only commenting the evaluation reports, uh, draft reports, but we can also contribute to preparation of the terms of reference, including uh, formulation of key evaluation questions and setting criteria and all that. So it is very great improvement uh, in the past few years. We participate in the governmental meetings with the evaluators selected for that evaluation. We uh, provide recommendations to draft reports uh, and we uh, somehow approve also the final reports to be published on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website. It was not applied uh, 10 years ago, but uh, also thanks to our efforts and pressure, all the evaluation reports are published on the website. That's true that most of them are in the Czech language, but all reports have at least a summary, executive summary in English, and some reports are also provided in English with the Czech summary. It depends because our evaluation system is open to other evaluators from other countries. Uh, there is only one problem that some documents are in Czech and uh, uh, the people must know uh, what is the system about of development cooperation, but uh, the calls are open and all our evaluations uh, of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs are among others published on the IPDAT listserv you will be a member of. So please join us. Let's try joint evaluations with uh, some of you. It's great. And uh, uh, Czech Evaluation Society was also uh, preparing something like annual uh, summary reports on the evaluations from the last year especially focus on the lessons learned, what was working well, what didn't work, what were the problems on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs side in the terms of reference and what are the problems or best practices used by the evaluators. So it's also another, another habit we established. Uh, there are some other roles of this reference group. So uh, we proposed uh, new templates for the reports uh, which are used now. Uh, we somehow adjusted the uh, criteria for selecting the contractors for evaluations. So now it is uh, much more focused on, uh, on experience and so on than other costs. Uh, we were successful in changing the contracts as evaluators by introducing a special clause on flexibility. Uh, something like 15% shifts between budget categories or within the budget categories which also improved the flexibility of, of um, evaluations and uh, last year the Ministry of Foreign Affairs started uh, something like workshops before launching the evaluations for the next year. So all evaluators who would like to attend this workshop they can ask what will be the evaluations uh, uh, launched the next year, what are the key requirements of the Ministry and what are the key criteria or, and so on. And uh, last year we also for the first time uh, succeeded in uh, starting a tradition of so-called Eval Cafes with uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Evaluators uh, around one table and sharing the experience. What was not clear in the third terms of reference, what was possible to do, what is not possible to do and what to follow, what to repeat and so on. Uh, Czech Evaluation uh, Society definitely also provides some capacity building and not only for our members but also for our institutional partners. So I can mention the trainings for the Czech Development Agency which is responsible for official development assistance for the national platform of NGOs uh, for us. We provided uh, trainings for the Ministry of Regional Development, Labour and Social Affairs, Education, etc and also for some regional authorities which are uh, responsible for national programs and European programs implemented in the Czech Republic. For our members, uh, I uh, would like to mention something like stabilized offer of, of events uh, based on capacity development, which are the pre-conference uh, pre workshop. Holidays are usually three workshops uh, in the afternoon before the annual conference of the Czech Evolution Society. 
We have a certified training on evolution minimum, which is two days training. Uh, we supported 11 years of European program for development evolution training carried out in the Czech Republic and Slovakia since 2007 until the last year, which was something like mini IBDET. Usually we had around 35 countries represented. We are also providing, which is I think the best way, uh, providing uh, something like mentoring for concrete organizations working with their own projects, not only with some templates and, and case studies, but trying to help them to prepare good evaluations uh, they are ready to do. And uh, there is uh, the system of Evalcafes, which is uh, something like a round table in different organizations on specific topics. We have some topics, we have some voting on the website, what you would like to speak about, and let's gather and let's speak about that. About the sharing and learning uh, achievements, we have an annual conference, as mentioned. Uh, sometimes it's today, especially if we uh, join it with some international event. Uh, usually it is only in Czech, but sometimes we have uh, multilingual uh, conferences or we uh, use some partners to uh, have a site event with uh, other countries. We uh, produce a newsletter every second month. Uh, we have flash news uh, with current information or emerging information, for example, about new call requests for proposals or new guidelines and so on. We have a scientific journal uh, biannual which is called Evolution Theory and Practice. It's a peer-reviewed journal and uh, you can contribute if you wish. And what was a good experience also, we started in 2013, we did uh, something like a meta-evaluation or peer review of around uh, 25 evaluations from the past uh, three years where 10 evaluators participated and we read our own reports uh, and provided feedback and trying to identify the common issues and uh, common possibilities for improvement. So it was done in 2013 for development cooperation and then uh, in 2014 for uh, uh, national programs and European funds. And three years ago we started an evaluation competition for students, which is a great exercise. That it's a real competition with some prizes and, and so on, and they like it, and uh, some of them are now working for us. And uh, we uh, just uh, improved our website, so you can check that this website, check a wall, see that. Uh, we will still, uh, we still need, uh, for example, to provide more information in English and so on, but uh, it's quite new. It started two months ago, so we have a lot of work. Uh, still. And uh, definitely we are cooperating with international organizations like the European Evaluation Society and Network of Evaluation Societies in Europe. We presided that uh, network with Slovakia, jointly with Slovakia in the last year. We cooperate with IDEAS, International Development Evaluation Association, with our neighboring country or part of our Czechoslovakia in the past, Slovak Evaluation Society. And we are ready and uh, keen uh, to cooperate uh, with other national platforms or societies. But, oh, I can still mention one, maybe as an inspiration for you, because this is my life. And my life changed in 2003 when I attended IBRED in Ottawa at Carleton University for four weeks. It was great. And at the same year, I became a member of IDEAS because we are offered. Uh, one year membership in IDEAS and uh, now I'm a life, I always call lifetime member, something like that, <laughs> until I die. Okay, uh, then based on our active, uh, we, we were trying to do something, so we proposed some activities and one of the activities was uh, a workshop co-organized by us in the Czech Republic in Prague in 2006 with uh, the topic of country evolutions and systems which is a ship flag of UNICEF. And I think that it was the first international gathering when we uh, were, where UNICEF opened this issue of country evolutions. So I'm also a bit proud of that. And then the same year I became a member of IDEAS board, or became, I was elected. Then uh, in 2007 we started with Ray and Linda, these uh, check that and that that's later on European programs. 
in the Czech Republic and Slovakia and uh, you can see that we have uh, 539 graduates since 2017 and I'm not able to count the number of countries but it will be uh, quite a huge number of countries. Then I became uh, or was elected uh, Vice President of IDEAS, since then I'm only a member of the election committee every year and uh, we also participated in preparation of IDEAS uh, competencies for development evaluations and evaluators, managers and commissioners in 2012 and uh, there was a code of ethics uh, approved by the, by the IDEAS in 2013. So this is about some slight like successes or history, but what are the challenges? We are in a tricky situation because uh, we are already quite big to be managed by on a voluntary basis. We are not paid for, for the work, for the association. We have no uh, staff, in fact, no office. It's provided by the members and so on. Uh, we have no chance of getting core funding for the organization and uh, we cannot cover all the costs but only by membership fees or uh, conference fees. Uh, we uh, can somehow ask for a project funding, but project funding for an umbrella organization is not the right way. We must work for the members every day and every week and uh, you, uh, solving the emerging issues and what can be a project. Okay, conference, it's an annual conference, it's a self-sustainable conference paid from the, by the members and partners and so on. And another issue is that uh, we could apply for some national call for proposals, but we do not want to compete with our members. We are on an umbrella and the members should apply for these calls and not their umbrella. So this is a big challenge and uh, we have to solve it somehow uh, for the next year. We have some other challenges uh, because of the system. We have a rotation in the board, which is quite often but maybe it's uh, not perfect in our case because uh, we have uh, only two years uh, uh, mandate uh, in the board and uh, therefore uh, it's not such easy to, uh, by the way, it's not such easy to find new volunteers working for free in the positions of the board. Uh, there can be some uh, conflict of interest if I'm a board member and I'm applying for some grants and so on. It can be sometimes difficult for them. The rotation also means that uh, the institutional memory is missing. It's not such easy to transfer all the knowledge within two years to some other, other people. And uh, it can be confusing also for some uh, our partners and members and other, other, other people because even the contact persons are changing every year. So uh, we probably have to change our statues. There are some other challenges and I'm, ready, I'm happy that we are very ready to do uh, all the work together and that uh, there are two main pillars of the Czech Evolution Society. One is the development cooperation and another one is uh, national and European programs in our country. And it is a totally different context. It's totally different to do evolution in my country when I know everybody and everything and and the laws and people mentality and all that and in developing country. It's a totally different from the point of budget because we have around uh, four to six to maybe one, seven evaluations of development programs or projects per year and we have 80 or 100 evaluations of other projects, now meaning uh, government organ um, evaluations, not uh, NGO evaluations and so on, which is another market for us. The question is in predictability because every change in the government and uh, approval of the state budget it influences uh, the planning and it's not perfect uh, still in our country and definitely we must use uh, specific approaches and methods for specific kinds of evaluations and so on and uh, definitely there are some uh, differences in uh, understanding the, or using the evaluations by practitioners working in the field in developing countries, by people working in the academic sector and uh, also uh, by some consultants uh, trying to uh, join us or because they see the market so they are trying to, to get contracts and sometimes their approach is not developmental or development evaluations, it's something like uh, normal consultancy and management and so on. So, uh, 
maybe a few questions where you can help me. What uh, should be the role of National Evolution Society? Is it the capacity building or advocacy and awareness raising? Should we work something as an ethical committee or judge if there are some problems between the clients and commissioners and evaluators? Ooh, there is no perfect solution, we know that. Can we try to find, to facilitate an, something like agreement or consensus? Should we be a chamber of evaluators? Something like we mentioned yesterday, it's a, should, uh, it is a business or it is a, it is a profession? If it, it is a profession, can we have a chamber? Something like looking at the quality and uh, criteria and whatever. What can be the mandate of uh, such chambers? Uh, there are some other uh, recent challenges. What to do with IBDET and our experience in IBDET? Should we find some uh, possibilities of cooperation uh, in the next year and so on? Another challenge for our region, Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, we are quite, in quite a difficult position because uh, we are a member of the European Union or uh, we are some country, our, uh, countries are candidates for the European Union so we are considered as a rich countries, as rich country but we are not rich, we, the system is not established it's not a profession in our country, the demand is limited we must create a demand and we cannot afford uh, such nice great trainings like, like here, many of our people so it would be very useful to, to get at least partial bursaries for such important international events. We are not eligible for the funds for developing countries. We have not enough money like in Western Europe, something like that. Maybe, uh, there, sorry, maybe there is a, uh, another challenge. We have a nice group of people here and uh, I can say that we cooperate with IBDETERS and IBDETERS from the past. And it is important to work together and uh, to learn from uh, our partners in developing countries and to try to help them if they need some help in evaluations. And we, all our organizations which are carrying out evaluations in developing countries, they have team members from uh, evaluators, not only interpreters and guides. They have team members from, uh, from uh, partner countries. So it's a great opportunity to work together and uh, we are ready for that. And. Uh, as I mentioned, the international competition for students, we started some negotiations with Canadians that it would be nice if the winners of national competitions can meet internationally and do some international competition somewhere, using for exchange of information and approaches and sharing, learning and so on. So if you would like to uh, discuss these possibilities of cooperation, we will be happy to do it. And now, because it was launched, I think, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, that IDEAS is looking for somebody who will offer the place and logistic support and uh, something for uh, the Global Assembly, which is every second year of IDEAS, International Development Evolution Association. And we probably will offer Prague as a place of that, of that meeting. But it's demanding, but we are ready to do it. So, I think that's, that's, that's it. Uh, I have a one of one uh, last slide uh, because, uh, and by the way, it's also thanks to Ibn Ten Ideas. In 2008, we organized, co organized with Malaysian Evolution Society a conference or workshops in Kuala Lumpur. And the topic was impact evolutions and so on. And since then, I'm trying to persuade all the people that impact evolution is one issue, but much more important is impact of evaluations. This is our goal, to be influential, and uh, this is very important. And even from that point of view, I would like to repeat the first message from the first slide or second slide, that even small national evaluation societies must be influential and we are ready to do. And what is the great opportunity for us that we are not alone, that we are members of this family, of family of that and ideas and, and that's it. So I don't want to take your time more. Let us cooperate, let us meet again and enjoy the rest of the IBDET 2018 and thank you for being here. Thank you very much.